Hey yo, I'm back with another video and today I want to talk about UFC 308 Ilya Topuria versus Max Holloway and of course the co-main event much awaited Robert Whittaker and finally Hamzat Shumayev is going to make his return to the octagon after fighting against uh, different type of diseases he's going to finally make his return and he's going to fight inside the octagon and I think this fight is going to take place in Abu Dhabi. So it'll be an interesting fight. This will be an interesting fight card. I'll give you my predictions from almost all the fights. From the prelims to the main card. And they don't have they don't seem to have an early prelim, but still, I'm gonna talk about all the uh fighters and fights in here. Okay, let us start from the early, early uh but before that please subscribe to my channel and also watch this video at 2x the speed okay let us start uh the Renat fakradina fight has been cancelled so i'm gonna start from the light heavyweight fight ibo alson he's going to fight against rafael correra and rafael correra do not seem to have a photo he does not do not seem to have a picture but we'll find his topology. He is 11 and 0. He is 34 years old, so he is pretty old. He's six feet four, pretty tall for uh, the light heavyweight division. But I don't know the Renat Fakhrudinov fight apparently has been cancelled. But still, I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, Ivo Olson, he's going to fight against Rafael Carrera, and Ivo Olson, I don't know how old they see. Uh, he is 28 years old. He's six three. He's he hasn't fought he has fought one fight he fought against anton turkaji uh turkali and then turkali is not exactly a great fighter so but still i'm going to go with ibo Olsen because he's going to have a home turf advantage because more i think he's fighting out of turkey is that but most of them they train in uh in the middle east so they'll be more adjusted and acclimated uh acclimatized to the uh, weather and environment in the middle east so they'll be having that advantage Rinat Fakhradinov is going to fight against Carlos Leal. I don't know anything about Carlos Leal. I have never seen him fight. He's 5'11 and he's fighting in welterweight division. Yeah, which is, uh, I think it's it's okay. It's okay. He's not exactly that short for the welterweight division. He's on a two-fight winning streak. He is going to make his UFC debut. So I'm going to go with Rinat Fakhradinov by a unanimous decision. Rinat, yeah, of course, like, why did he decide to grapple with Craig Jones? That makes no sense. April 20, why did they decide to grapple with Craig Jones? Um, but then again, yeah, maybe it was in kar uh, karate combat. So, yeah, I mean, definitely he was going to lose against uh, Craig Jones. If When it comes to grappling, ain't nobody in UFC is going to beat Craig Jones. Nobody. Uh, he won against Nikolaus Delby by split decision. So, I'm going to go with uh, Renan Fakhradino probably by a unanimous decision or maybe uh, you, uh, uh, whatever. A split decision. Victor Hugo is going to fight against... Uh, Farid Basharad. I'm gonna go with uh Farid Basharad by a uh, unanimous decision. I'm gonna go with that is going to be my pick. Okay, let's move on. Kennedy Nujuchuku is going to fight against Chris Barnett. I don't know if this fight is actually going to take place. Because the official UFC uh website does not show this fight. So whatever. I'm gonna go with Chris Barnett, man. I don't care. Abus Magomedov, he's gonna fight against Bruno Fahera. I'm gonna go with Abus Magomedov. But I don't know. I, I think this fight has been cancelled. But uh, okay, let's talk about Said Nurmagomedov versus Daniel Santos. I'm gonna go with Said Nurmagomedov by again a unanimous decision. The same reason they're going to have a hometown advantage, a home turf advantage. That kind of does uh, work in your favor. I don't know how is. I think Said lost right recently to somebody. I don't know. I think yeah, he lost to Jonathan Martinez. Uh, Jonathan Martinez is actually a really good fighter, but I don't know how good Daniel Santos is. I haven't seen this guy fight. He fought against Johnny Munho Jr. He fought against John Castrada back in 2022 and 2023. So I'm going to go with Saeed. It just makes no sense. Maktag Oralbay from, uh, where is he from? Tajikistan? Is he from Tajikistan? He's from the same place where... Uh, where is he from, actually? I don't even know what this country is. I think he's from Tajikistan. He's from Kyrgyzstan, yeah. He's from the same place uh, that is 
Valentina Shevchenko is from, right? I think so. I think so. Okay. Miakte um, Korolbay, I think he's going to win this by a unanimous decision. Probably he will get tired in the last round. But apart from that, he's going to win this fight really easy. His only loss was in 2020 against Khalid Satweb, uh, which was a long time back. And he lost that by unanimous decision. And apart from that, he has always been winning. He did win against Elvis Brenner, which was again in 2024. He won against Uros Medic. I remember this fight. And yes, this fight, again, this is going to be a similar outcome. He's going to get his opponent to the ground and he's going to take his, uh, basically win this by grappling. This guy is 32. He lost to Diego Ferreira and Diego Ferreira is not exactly that great of a fighter. He was undefeated before he made his UFC debut. He was not exactly undefeated. He had one loss. Now, then he lost to Diego Ferreira and now this guy. I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Miyake Korolba. Jeff Neal is fighting against RDA. Uh, this should be an interesting fight because they both are kind of washed. They're not exactly washed fighters, especially Jeff Neal. But he did lose to Ian Gary. So, but I'm going to go with Jeff Neal probably by a unanimous decision. Because Jeff Neal is really strong. He does have a good takedown defense compared to RDA. And Jeff Neal is definitely going to be a better striker. He's going to be more powerful compared to RDA. So I'm going to go with Jeff Neal. I think it will be a unanimous decision. Shara Magomedov versus Armand Petrosian. I'm going to go with Shara Magomedov because I have never seen Armand Petrosian, MN Petrosian fight. He lost to Rodolfo Vieira. So I'm going to go with uh, Shara Putin. Shara Magomedov. Magomed Ankalaev versus Alexander Rakic. I'm going to go with Magomed Ankalaev by a unanimous decision. He's going to probably use his grappling a bit more. Alexander Rakic, he had... Uh, I think he had an injury, then he made his return. And in his return, he got knocked out by Yuri Prohaska. So I don't think that is going to work greatly in his favor. And that was in April. I think he should have taken a bit more rest. But then again, he needs to fight. He needs to make his comeback because he has already, what, 34 years old? He's 32, so he has some time. He could have taken some more time and he could have fought. But, I mean, he's getting an opportunity to fight for Mag uh, against Magomed. If he wins against Angolaev, then he might get a title shot. So... This is a fair, um, so I think he made a good choice. But I'm going to go with Ankalaev probably by a unanimous decision. Or maybe a finish. Maybe a finish, who knows. Leron Murphy against Dan Ige. I have never really seen the Leron Murphy fight because I've never seen him fight live. I've seen him fight, but I've always seen him fight in highlights. I've never seen him fight live. Uh, fight live. His fight's live. He defeated Edson Barboza, Josh Qualibo, Gabriel Santos, uh, Makwan Americani. So I'm going to go with... Uh, Leron Murphy. Danny Gay, I think his last fight was against Diego Sanchez. And Diego Sanchez, he went on to win against Brian Ortega. He destroyed Brian Ortega. But then again, that was Diego Sanchez. Was it Diego Sanchez? I think it was. it Diego Sanchez? Who was it? Okay. Yeah, Diego Lopez. Wow, I just said Diego Sanchez. For God's sake. But then again, there was a Diego Lopez that was really dehydrated because he had to do three weight cuts. So I think that was a reason why Diego Lopez could not do, could not perform his best, and he could not finish or he could not uh, dominate Danny Gay towards the end of the fight because he had to make three weight cuts, and that is horrible for your body. But as far as the, uh, this fight is concerned, I'm going to go with Leron Murphy. I think he'll have a striking advantage. I think he will have a uh, the speed advantage over Danny Gay. I think Danny Gay will probably have more power in his shots. So I'm going to go with Leron Murphy. <coughs> Co-main event, interesting fight, interesting fight. Uh, Robert Whittaker, Robert the Reaper Whittaker, the last time he was supposed to Hamza Shimaev, Shimaev pulled out and then Whittaker had to fight against Ikram Alis Karab and Alis Karab got knocked out. He got destroyed and now Alis Karab is going to fight against somebody. I don't know who he's going to fight against, but yeah, there was a bad, a bad beat down on Alis Karab, man. Imagine <laughs> Alis Karab lost to Hamza, then he decides to step in short notice, thinking that he can take on Whittaker and he had to take the beating of Hamza's share. Alice Kurov is just getting, catching strays, dude. He's just catching a lot of strays. Robert Whittaker. Uh, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Uh, I'm going to go with Hamzat Shimaev. I, think he, I don't know if this fight will be three rounds or five rounds. I don't know. How many rounds will this be? Mm. But uh, it doesn't matter then. I, I think Hamzat is going to probably finish Rob in second round. I don't know if he will finish Rob in first round, but I can see him finishing Rob in second round because of his wrestling and grappling. Robert Whittaker is a good wrestler, but I don't know if he has fought a grappler who's as good as Hamzat Shimaev. 
And of course, Whittaker will be the toughest opponent Shimaev has fought. And Whittaker is 33, Shimaev is 30, but Whittaker has taken a lot of damage. He has been in wars against uh, Yoel Romero. He has had a really good fight against Izzy, the second fight. In the first fight, he got lost. Then he fought against Paulo Costa, uh, Jared Cannonier, And then who else was there? I think Vittori. I mean, Whittaker has fall, fought against everybody in the middleweight division. He conquered the middleweight division. Marvin Vittori, he lost to Drikas Duplessis. That was a really bad beatdown uh, by Drikas Duplessis. He lost in the second round. Because Drikas is a really, like, he's a heavy dude. Like, he's really strong. And he has that ability to just make the fight really grimy and really, like, ugly. But he somehow manages to find a, he manages to get a win. Uh, for Paulo Costa, he went five rounds. Was it five rounds? I think it was a five-round fight against Paulo Costa, but he won that by unanimous decision. Ikram Aliskarov destroyed Aliskarov in the fight. Completely destroyed him. Uh, but still, I don't think he's he will be able to handle Hamzat Shumayev's grappling. If Hamzat decides to strike, I think Hamzat will have more power, but Whitaker will have more, uh, I would say, accuracy. And when did Hamzat fight last? He fought against... Yeah, it has been exactly one year. Yes, it has been exactly one year since he last fought against Kamaru Usman. But then again, Kamaru Usman actually did good against uh, Hamzat Shimaev. And that was a short notice fight. But still, Kamaru did well. Now, thinking that Robert Day is also a good uh, grappler. But let's see. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to go with Hamzat Shimaev probably by a second round finish. I think so. I think so. I'm going to go with Hamzat Shimaev probably by... You know what? I'm going to go with unanimous decision. I think that would be a better pick. Or maybe he finishes Rob. Who knows? I'm going to go with Hamzat Shimaev, probably by a unanimous decision. Yeah, that's going to be my... Now, the main event. This is going to be a really long video. How long is it? No. Ah, it's a short video. Ah. Okay. Uh, Ilya El Matador, Toporia, the current UFC undisputed featherweight champion of the world. He's fighting out of Georgia. Uh, he's fighting out of Alicante, Spain. He lives in Alicante, Spain. And he's a Georgian, Spaniard, Russian. I don't know. He speaks like 10 different languages. And he's going to fight against Max Holloway. I think Ilya is going to win this by unanimous decision. I'll tell you why. I think Ilya is going to wrestle in this fight. He needs to wrestle against Max. He might do some good striking against Max. But I think Max will somehow give him problem when it comes to the distance. I think Ilya will probably win round one. And then Max will probably win round two and round three. And then Ilya will come back in round four and five. And he will win this by using his grappling. He needs to use his grappling. If he just strikes with Max, I don't think it will be a really good fight for him. Because Max, when it comes to... Uh, even uh, even Volkanovski had to grapple with Max Holloway to win in the second fight. So, yeah, I mean, apart from Volk, nobody has really defeated Max this new Max Holloway. I mean, of course, Conor McGregor defeated Max Holloway when he was 20 years old. Now he is 32. It's been 12 years. I remember, man, I was in I was in 7th grade or 6th grade. Yes, I, I think I was in the 7th grade when Max Holloway was fighting. Yeah, I was really young. And now I'm 24. I'm, I'm going to turn 24 pretty soon. So, Justin Gaethje, uh, yeah, he knocked out Justin Gaethje. That is a really bad knockout. There was... A Coldest knockout, 4 minutes, 59 seconds of the very last round. San Chung Zhang, Arnold Allen, he defeated all three of them. San Chung uh, Zhang is Korean zombie. Uh, that fight, we already knew that Max was going to defeat him. But apart from that, he lost to Alexander Volkanovsky. That was in 2022. He won against the Yair. He won against Kelvin Ketter. Lost to Volkanovsky again. And prior to that, he also again lost to Volkanovsky. It just seems that apart from Alexander Volkanovsky, Max can defeat anyone. And everyone in the division, in the lightweight, uh, in the featherweight division, also in the lightweight division, he went up and defeated uh, Justin Gaethje. I would have liked Max to stay in the lightweight division and continue his quest of becoming the lightweight champion. I think he could have done it. The only, uh, the person, the only person that I see who can give a lot of trouble to Max Holloway is going to be Makachev in there, and maybe Arman Sarukian because he's good at his uh, wrestling. But apart from that, the other fighters, if he can knock out Gaethje then I think he can knock out Poirier as well. Because Max Holloway, when he gained weight this time, when he put on those, put on the size, he did it right. He took his time. And his speed was there. His ability to strike was there. His power was there. Like, he gained power. With, in featherweight, Max did not really seem to have a lot of power. But when he fought against Gaethje, he had power, dude. Like, he had power in his hands. And, yeah, even, as the, even in this fight, I think... 
I don't think Ilya is going to be able to finish Max. This will be a really competitive fight. People are really, some people are saying that, yeah, Max will finish Ilya. Then there are some are saying, you know, but Ilya is going to knock out Max. I don't think. It is what it is. It is what it is, <laughs> brother. It is what it is, as Max Holloway would say. But I think Ilya will win this by unanimous decision. I think he'll win this by 3-2. Yeah, he'll probably win three rounds and Max will probably win two rounds out of these, out of the five. And I would not be surprised if Max wins this fight. Because this is kind of like a 50-50 pick him situation. I don't know, I've never seen Max being that good against, like his fight against Gaethje. I thought Gaethje was going to win this by, win that one by unanimous decision. But it turns out Max won that by, Max was winning that uni by unanimous decision. And then at the last moment, he just decided to point towards the ground and started, started striking. And then what? Boom! Gechi goes down. Gechi has never been knocked out clean. And then, kaboom, Max can do that again. Like, if Max Holloway decides to point to the ground and strikes with you, I don't think you should do that because his chin can take. He can take punches to his chin. Ilya's chin has never really been tested. But then again, he has taken a good head kick from, uh, what was his name? Jai Harbert. But then again, Jai Harbert is not Max Holloway. He's not Max Holloway. Let's be honest about that. Max has good grab. Max has good uh, strike. Grappling defense, his defensive grappling is good. I don't know about his offensive grapp uh, grappling. But Ilya has said that he's going to strike with Max. I don't think he's going to do that. He seems like a smart person, at least inside the octagon. He seems like a really smart person. He has a good game plan. If he gets close to Max in the close quarters, I think Ilya is a better boxer. But if we talk about distance management, if Max decides to, uh, decides to fight from a kicking range, I think Max is going to do better because he has he's a better uh, he has more reach. Not exactly boxing reach, but He's a taller fighter, so he's he'll be able to stay on the outside and, you know, he can jab uh, Ilya Toporia. Max is a good jab. Max is a good, powerful jab. He's, if his jab is accurate, he, if he can establish his jab early in the fight, then I think Max can get a win. But still, I just don't, I just see Ilya is going to somehow use his grappling, which is world class. He's, he was a grappler. Like, a lot of people think that just because we see, we have seen him box in UFC, a lot of people think that uh, Ilya Toporia is actually a boxer. But no, in reality, he's actually a grappler. He started with, I think, Greco Roman and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And prior to making his UFC debut, he was actually a really good grappler and he was choking people out. And he hasn't fought in UFC. Like, he's, most of his fight has been in UFC, I believe. He made his UFC debut in 2020. And Max made his UFC debut probably in 2012 or something. He, it was like, I'll have to see when Max made his UFC debut. But, uh, like, just look at his. Like, his first fight was a triangle choke back in 2015 and then rnc rnc guillotine mounted guillotine anaconda triangle armbar punch i think that was yeah that was prior to his last fight before ufc and when he came on to ufc he won his first fight by unanimous decision and apart from that against yusuf zalal and after that damon jackson punches ground and pound ryan hall finished round hall that was a really satisfying finish i just remember when joe rogan was very high on ryan hall you know, Ryan Hall is doing this uh, Iminari rolls and for God's sake, I'm so happy that uh, Ilya Tuporia finished Ryan Hall because he was doing that stupid Iminari roll. The dude should have been kicked in the head. I genuinely think like if someone does, does that kind of stupidity inside the octagon, they should be kicked in the head. I think soccer kicks should be made legal so that people get kicked in the head and they don't try that stupid stuff. Come on, fight. Fight like a man, dude. Jai Harbert, yeah, he, the Jai Harbert fight was really good because he got knocked down in that fight. He got he took a really bad head kick and then somehow he was able to come back in round two and knock out Jai Harbert clean. Ili uh, yeah, Ilya Tipori has, by the way, Ilya has like really good power in his hands. Not exactly as powerful as uh, Josh Emmett or, or Steve, uh, what is it, uh, the other guy's name? Uh, who the fuck is that guy? Not Conor McGregor, the other guy that he talked about. Jeremy Stephens, he has really good power, but Ilya's power is like more accuracy power. Bryce Mitchell, he wrecked all Bryce Mitchell in the second round. He did get dominated by, like, he took, got took down by Bryce Mitchell and Bryce could not really, come, uh, like, control him for the, he probably controlled him for, like, a minute or something or probably, like, the last 30 seconds. But in the round two, Ilya came uh, back and just took down Bryce and ragdolled him and finished him by a triangle choke. And there is Josh Emmett. That was a really good performance by Ilya. He won that by unanimous decision. Uh, he was never really in danger in that fight. Even though Josh was throwing haymakers, Ilya was able to find his... Uh, shots and he landed cleaner shots he landed more accurate shots and then of course in the fifth round he was able to win that by a grappling like he basically took down josh Emmett against volkanovsky knocked down volkanovsky which i we already knew that he was going to finish volkanovsky because Volk, i don't think at that point had recovered from uh 
the beatdown that he took, the knockout that he had against uh, Makachev. So that was like we all knew. But this will be a, his hardest uh, test, in my opinion, because Max is fresh compared to Volk. Max, Max is somebody who's actually young. Max is 32. Ilya is 27. Ilya is five years younger than Max. Imagine, Max Holloway is an older fighter. We are all getting old. So yes, my, my prediction is going to be Ilya Tupira. I'll repeat my predictions. Uh, when did Max make his UFC debut? I just wanted to look at that. <laughs> yes, that was in 2012. So it has been 12 years since Max uh, made his debut. Wow, what a long time. 2012, dude, I was in 6th standard back then. I was in 6th grade. I was a 6th grader. And now I'm 24. I'm turning 24. Dude. Wow. I'm getting old. This has made me feel really old. Uh, but whatever. I'm going to do a recap of this entire fight card. And then, yeah, we'll end this video. Bruno Silva versus Ismail Nuradov. I don't know. Like, Ismail Nuradov. He's going to win this fight. Ibo Alcian. I'm going to pick Ibo Alcian. Renat Fakta. Renat. Yeah, Renat is winning this. Farid Basharat versus Victor Hugo. I'm going to go with Farid uh, Basharat. Chris Barnett versus Kennedy Nuzusuku. I'm going to go with Chris Barnett. Abus Magomedov, Bruno Fair. I'm going to go with Abus Magomedov. Said versus Daniel Santos. I'm going to go with Said. Bruno Magomedov. Miakta Koralbai versus uh, Miyajus. Rebecca. I'm going to go with Miakta Koralbai. Uh, Miakbiak. 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 Uh, Jeff Neal versus Jeff Neal versus RDA. I'm going to go with Jeff Neal. Sarah Magomedov versus Emma Petrosian. Again, Sarah. Is winning this one. Sarah Putin is winning this one. Magaman versus Alexander. Magaman by unanimous decision. Leon Murphy versus Danny Gay. I'm going to go with Leon Murphy by a unanimous. Robert Whittaker versus Hamza Shimaev. I'm going to go with Hamza Shimaev probably by a unanimous decision. I think that makes sense. Uh, Ilya Toporia versus Max Holloway. I'm going to go with Ilya Toporia by a unanimous decision. I guess that's it. That's it from today's video. It, it became a really long video, 21 minutes. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, share, and please. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got very few subscribers and peace out.